Hey, Zach, good to see you. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully I get to see you in person soon. It was nice to be out here at practice. It actually wasn't that hot which was <laughs> for us under the canopy anyway. Um, what, what would you say are some uh, specific points of emphasis for you that you want to focus between now and the start of season? Um, for me, I want to focus on just uh, improving. Obviously, I want to improve everywhere, but uh, improve my run game, uh, my reaction, uh, run pass, uh, um, the play action stuff, and then uh, improve my early down snaps. Thank you. Travis? Hey, Zach, good to see you again today, man. Hope practice went well today. Um, you know, I know this defense, one of the things they want to be is multiple, and I think you're a big part of that. And my question for you is, as you prepare for the season, are there different things you do, whether it's, you know, drills, strength training, film study, or whatever it might be to prepare for the difference of being an interior guy versus a guy that plays on the outside? Is there a difference in that at all? Um, yeah, obviously there's a difference in a DT and a defensive end and their training. Um, but I, we, I think we work on really well here at training here or training wherever is being very multiple and being, being able to train quicker and explosion stuff and also training power. So you can take on the doubles and you can also um, uh, you have the speed. Great. Thank you. Yep. Lamar. Damn, that was quick. Uh, wanted to ask you, Zach, one, uh, how is the uh, mobile home or, or, the, and have you added anything to it, made any alterations to it? Uh, and also, I, I need to follow up, and, and I do want to come hunting. How do I get the Zach Sealer tour? <laughs> well, it's going to need to be off season for sure. Um, after mini camp, I'll be out there for a while. Um, we'd love to. Give us a call, really. And then uh, RV-wise, RV's out there right now. Um, we were so busy in turkey season. We uh, – Want to space everybody out more, so we used it as an extra spot out there, so we didn't have people all close together during COVID. Okay, so so where are you living now? Since the RV's up there, <laughs> we got a little spot down here. Just fiance now. I got you know moving into real life. <laughs> so, so so she made you move out of the RV. That, she didn't make me. She was great about it. She's awesome. She uh, fully supported me, but two big dogs and her, it wasn't working so much. So gotcha. Hey, good to talk to you again. Um, question about the extended season. Are, how are players dealing with um, preparing, you know, your body and just your normal off-season preparation, just knowing that you're going to have to add on uh, an extra week here? Um, I think uh, we're just preparing like we always have. I mean, we're still going to have to play. And, I mean, if you think if you go into the playoffs, you're getting those weeks anyways. So, uh Really just making sure you keep your body healthy and you really just can't uh, veer off of your routine. I mean, the key to all this is routine. Your uh, recovery routine, your daily routine. So just really making sure you keep going and don't lose focus during the season, especially with the extra week. Lewis? Hey, Zach. Hope practice went well. Um, I wanted to ask you about the rotation that you guys have at defensive tackle. You've obviously got a lot of talent and not a new, a lot of new guys coming in here with Butler and them. I wanted to ask you what you're seeing in them and how you think they're going to be able to contribute a, alongside you on that line this upcoming season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a lot of great guys. Um, we brought in some really good talent between free agents and rookies. Um, it's just exciting. Uh, we all, uh, it's early. We're all rotating. We're all doing, uh, it's just, it's uh, exciting to see where the team can grow to. Um, the coaches are doing a great job of honing in on some things that we, we wanted to improve on from last year and uh, getting each other better. Um, nothing beats competition. And what are you seeing from the younger guys that you think that these they have, they have a lot of good potential? Do they have some things that you feel like you can teach them? Like, what are you trying to impart to them? I'm excited. Uh, they definitely seem like they got a good attitude. Um, kind of coming here like a, we always, I was always told to come in like a sponge when I was a rookie, taking all the information from the vets. And they definitely have an attitude towards that. They don't have an attitude of I'm too good for this or anything like that. Adam? Yeah, I think this is the first time in your career that you've had job security, that you are entering a season knowing that, well, I have a pretty good sense that you're going to be on the team. How is that just on a personal level different from you, and how have you approached this offseason? Yeah, Adam, um, you know, it's 
obviously it's on the, the extension of November, but for me, I don't like to look at, Hey, I'm this or that it's whatever. Um, I just got to keep growing. So I, I like to look back on times from before to always have that fire uh, driving me um, and just kind of see where I came from and to keep growing from there. So uh, just keep going. Yeah. But you're right. Hey, Zach, uh, I wanted to ask you about Christian Wilkins uh, working alongside him. What are, what are some things that you've kind of seen from him this offseason and how he's kind of matured as a player and kind of grown? Yeah, he uh, he's definitely matured. Um, he's uh, matured on the field. He's still a kid at heart. Uh, I think everyone sees that. Um, but he's just – he's really good with reading the backfield sets. He's always taking the next le level of trying to – learn, hey, what combos can I get in this front? What can I do here when we're in this front? What's the offense going to do? He's uh, He's been really good at focusing on that, those kind of things. 